Hi, I'm Roy Huntington, editor of American Handgunner Magazine. Welcome to another episode of Insider Tips. What we're going to do is uh, talk a little bit about how do you adjust the point of impact on a fixed sight handgun. You know, here I have a Les Bear 1911 and it's got fixed rear and fixed front sight. However, these particular sights are mounted in a dovetail, so in actuality it's pretty easy to adjust for windage, which is left and right. To adjust for elevation, it's a little more complicated because then you actually have to change the height of the front sight. If you're shooting high, then what you actually have to do is get a taller front sight. Because what that does then is that forces you to move the muzzle down to get a proper aiming point which moves the bullet point of impact down. And it's a little bit of a get a file and file a little bit and shoot and file a little bit and shoot. Well, let's see where this one is sighted in right now and then we'll make a simple adjustment or two and see if we can get it zeroed into the point of impact. You know, when you're doing a preliminary zero like we're gonna do, there's really little need to shoot more than about three shots. Shooting five shots is basically a waste of ammunition. You just want a general idea of where the bullets are impacting on the target. Okay, we're gonna move this rear sight. We've chucked it in a good strong vise and protected the jaws. There's also a set screw on this, and so I've released the set screw. That is intended to hold the rear sight once you get it adjusted where you want it. Get a brass punch like this that won't really mar the sight. It'll leave a little bit of brass mark on the sight, but that's okay. And then you simply tap the sight over like this. In our case, we wanted to move it to the left a little bit. So I'll lock this set screw back down and then we'll reshoot it. Okay, uh, this was kind of interesting. The first three shots I fired were off to the right here and actually had pretty good group going. We went upstairs into the garage and adjusted the rear sight. What I did was we actually knocked the rear sight from the right to the left. We actually moved the rear sight over to the left because we wanted the bullet holes to move to the left on the target. We were getting a lot of noise around here, so we had to kind of hurry up and shoot these final ones. So I didn't have quite a precise trigger control on this one, so they spread out a little bit. But you can see that we actually guessed pretty good on how much to move the rear sight. In actuality, I would probably take my time and reshoot this to see if this group remains high like this. And then if so, you'd have to make a decision. Do I want to get a taller front sight to bring this point of impact down a little bit? And since we were shooting at 15 yards, I'm going to kind of assume that this will probably be right in the point of impact at 25 yards. So I'm going to leave this gun alone. I think we did a pretty good job. Hey, I'm Roy Huntington. Thanks for tuning in uh, to Insider Tips. We'll see you next time.